Hey guys, it is Vivids, and welcome back to an exciting, I guess it's not welcome back, but welcome to my first um, episode of my Road to Completion Escape series. Now, obviously, the end goal, you know, of the series is to achieve the Completion Escape now that I've achieved, now that I've achieved, now that I've achieved the Max Cape. So, um, the only real level ups in the future you're going to be seeing is going to be Dungeoneering, because I'm going to be focused on doing all the quests, all the tasks, all the Completion Escape requirements, and, uh, you know, thus, if I the end of level ups you'll really be seeing is just engineering unless the invention skill comes out. Um, you know, in that case, I'll probably just make um, some other videos around just invention. But, you know, as soon as I get that completion escape, it's, it's going to be fantastic because at the moment I'm having um, I'm having an absolute ball on the game, having the max cape because obviously um, it's quite a grind, you know, getting all those skills to 99 and it's a nice release not having to worry about, you know, getting all those skills to 99. I've been mean, one might argue, you know, um, that I've got to get all the completion escape requirements. But, you know, I much prefer to do all these completion escape requirements and, you know, grind all those skills to 99. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I did enjoy doing all of it. That's why I got the max cape. So I'm going to enjoy getting this completion escape. Um, get this completion escape. So, you know, throughout this month, um, I managed to achieve uh, three 99s. One being mining, second being agility. And the last one you'll be seeing very soon, or right on screen, right there, is our 99 Divination. So that was fantastic. And I do thank everyone that came to the 99 Divination quote unquote party or just gather or something like that. Um, you know, I do really appreciate everyone showing up. And, you know, Divination was my last 99 to, you know, to get to the Max Cape. So I've got a, also got another clip of me um, getting that Max Cape from Max, which was a pain in the bottom trying to, you know, follow him around, but luckily, I think it was, um, I think it was Trent, Trent JS was on screen, he was following him around for me, so I managed to find him, uh, really, really quickly, and, um, you know, I got that max cape in the end, which was fantastic, and like I said before, I'm gonna be, oh, I didn't say this before, but I'm gonna make you, I'm gonna be making, like, a max video, a uh, compilation of how I got the max cape, and you just, a bunch of 99s put together, so that's gonna be a fantastic video. Um, but this is going to be sum up the first half of this video. I'm actually going to go in game right now. So with these Road to Completion Escape episodes, uh, I think I'm going to set them out, you know, like the way I'm doing, you know, in this video. And that's going to be the first section of the video is going to be my achievements gained. And the second half is um, basically showing you guys what I have left. So I'm at Livid Farm right now. And that is because it's one of the achievements. And the achievement, no. The goal of the achievement, I think, is to unlock all of the Livid Farm spells from... Um, Obviously from the Livid Farm, and at the moment, oh, actually no, to get the final product you need 850,000 produce points, I believe it is, um, and I'll show you how many I have right now, so I'm going to quickly claim these rewards, and at the moment I only have 130,000 produce points, and when I started yesterday I only had about 70,000, so I guess that's some sort of progress made, um... And I think with Livid Farm as well, it's going to be quite useful because once I get, you know, obviously the 850,000 produce points, I'll be able to cast all of these very, very useful spells. So that's going to be fantastic. So not only is it just going to be um, like a grind, you know, a really, really, really painful grind with Livid Farm because no one really likes Livid Farm. Well, I don't anyway. Um, you know, it's it's not going to be too, too bad because there are going to be some hectic rewards. Not only the completion escape, but some, you know, some pretty sick spells as well. Okay, so I've just gypsied my way to the Varrock uh, Museum, and I'm here by the Completionist Cape. So I just want to quickly investigate this to see what um, see what achievements or what challenges I guess I need to get to the get to to get to the Completionist Cape. Um, now the only thing that I've really done to get the Completionist Cape is obviously to get the Max Cape, and I've got a few quests to go as well. Um, but my goal for the next Completionist Cape series is to get 500,000 produce points. Um, you know, completed as well as all the quests completed. So they're my main two goals for the next series. And then, you know, from that, I'll be able to, you know, just finish off the rest of the tasks. But uh, basically, I've got all of the achievements down here. So I'm going to quickly bring this all up. And you can have a read of them yourself if, if you would like. I'm not going to go through all of them, um, obviously, because, you know, they would just be too tedious. But basically, all it says is just quests, tasks, unlock spells, live at farm, um, music... Big Chin Chomper minigame, Gypsy McGee. Um, oh, Zaros Memory Crystals from Frenesca. I think that's from the new quest. Charm Sprites. Uh, Storyline from Fort. All pieces of the Cape Forgotten Scroll. So I don't know what half of that stuff is, but hopefully I'll be able to get there in the end, which should be uh, which should be pretty good. I reckon it'll be a very very um, a very very eventful journey. So that's going to be it for the first episode of the series, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a like. I really do appreciate the likes I get on these videos. Um, but apart from that, guys, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.